Greetings, lovers of mysticism and the unknown. Welcome to the Incredible Stories channel. We are explorers of the unexplainable and unbelievable. Today, I will tell you an interesting story. Brew up some goodies and enjoy. The official residence of sitting U.S. presidents can seem like one of the safest places in the world. Of course it is. The White House is guarded by a huge number of specially trained people. Perhaps even a gardener can eliminate an uninvited guest with garden shears and a watering can. But no one is safe from visitors from beyond the grave. Residents, employees and visitors to the White House often talked about ghosts and paranormal activity. For example, George W. Bush's daughters said they heard opera singing and music from the 1920s coming from the fireplace. So what kind of ghosts have taken up residence in the White House? The ghost of First Lady Abigail Adams. People met the ghost of Abigail Adams for a very peculiar occupation. Her spirit was hanging laundry in the East Room. According to the White House Historical Association, White House staff reported smelling wet clothes, laundry soap, and lavender. But as a disembodied spirit, Adams appeared to few. Andrew Jackson. Mary Todd Lincoln held seances in the Red Room of the White House and is said to have communicated with the ghost of Andrew Jackson. Lincoln himself said that he heard Jackson stomping and swearing. Now Jackson is often seen lying in his bed, in the Rose Room, and some even hear him laughing. Abraham Lincoln. Apparently, Ouija sessions were not in vain, and Lincoln began to appear in the White House as a ghost. He was seen or felt the presence of the wife of the 30th President of the United States, Grace Coolidge, Lady Bird Johnson, and Jacqueline Kennedy, Prime Minister Winston Churchill, and Queen Wilhelmina of the Netherlands. Eleanor Roosevelt complained that she too felt Lincoln's presence as if he were standing over her soul and watching her work, and Roosevelt's valet even fled screaming from the White House upon seeing Lincoln's spirit. Willie Lincoln Willie Lincoln died of typhoid fever in 1862, and as early as the 1870s, White House staff under President Ulysses S. Grant claimed to have seen the boy's ghost. William Henry Harrison William Henry Harrison was the first president to die in the White House. His ghost dwelt in the attic. But after the restoration, that same attic became the third floor and was turned into an annex to the executive residence. White House Ghost Encounter Stories President Harry Truman wrote to his wife, Bess, about several instances of paranormal activity while he was living in the White House. Not two months after moving into the residence, Bess received a frightening letter from her spouse. I sit here in this old house, doing foreign affairs, reading reports, and working on speeches, all the while listening to ghosts walking back and forth down the hallway and even right here in the office. The floor slams, the curtains move back and forth. I can only imagine old Andy Jackson and Teddy Roosevelt arguing over Franklin Roosevelt. One letter could be blamed on fatigue or stress, but in 1946 Truman wrote another letter to Bess. The president heard a knock on his own bedroom door. He opened it, but there was no one at the door. I jumped up and put on my robe and opened the door and there was nobody there. Went out and looked around the hall, looked in your room and Margie's room. Still no one there. After locking the doors, I went back to bed and I heard footsteps in your room, the door of which I had left open. This cursed place must be haunted. The Secret Service said there wasn't even a watchman here at that hour. You and Margie had better go back and protect me before any of these ghosts take me away. Truman wasn't the only one who encountered hashtag paranormal phenomena at the White House. At a formal dinner in 1986, Reagan told guests that Rex, the dog, barked at the entrance to Lincoln's bedroom and refused to go inside. Reagan's daughter and son-in-law also assured the public that they saw ghostly figures in the bedroom. And George W. Bush's daughters described the encounter with the hashtag supernatural in their memoirs. When White House butler Buddy Carter asked the girls how they slept, they described the mysterious singing and music they heard from the fireplace. But the man wasn't the least bit surprised. Oh, Miss Jenna, I believe you. You wouldn't believe what I've seen and heard over the years. Buddy hasn't told me his ghost stories yet, but I keep hoping so. The memoir says, Even Michelle Obama once let slip that she heard a noise coming from the hallway, and at night, someone was gnawing on their feet like a ghost dog. 
Do you believe in the existence of ghosts in a secure building like the White House? What did you think of it? Write in the comments. Be sure to get likes, subscribe to our channel, and check out other amazing stories.